Hey guys, well welcome to my city. Here we are in the lovely, illustrious Chicago. Outside over here, we'll, I'll show you some of our coldest sights, cause you know, we are the Windy City. So over here is the Art Institute. Typically Chicagoans come here for free days. They do have um, nice exhibits. Maybe one day we'll go there, but we're gonna walk through to Millennium Park, but first, let's eat. So, we're coming down here to Goddess and the Baker just to see if hopefully they're open. Guys, when you come to the Windy City, you know it's windy. The wind is blowing so hard against my face, it's freezing. Like, it's 40 degrees outside, probably with a wind chill of 30. <laughs> goddess and the baker it is super crowded i don't think i've ever seen it this crowded but luckily we were able to grab a seat and i ordered a sunrise burrito and i ordered carl an iron man scramble so i guess we'll see if he likes this so what's funny is they got her order wrong but i don't want to be rude but then again i'm hungry so i think this is an order coming up now yeah this is it yes thank you thank you so much so now I can eat my food without any guilt. So Either way, I was going to eat. Taste it. Taste what? Taste it. My I want to know if you like it. Yeah, because she made an executive decision. So I'm going to see if this does taste good. Hopefully she was right. She was wrong. I'm just playing. No, she was right. This, this is really, really good. Is this avocado? It's avocado. She knows me so well because I love avocado. Yeah, the bacon and everything is just delicious. So I'm gonna chow down on this. So guys, I'm still here without food. No fault of the restaurant at all. They have a really good customer service. So they're remaking my burrito. But I do She's have- mad. I'm okay, I'm She's not mad. that mad. She's mad. <laughs> I'm not, but I do have a fruit chart. So I guess we're gonna try that. We're gonna see what's to it. I just want to point out, it's not a lot of restaurants that will accommodate their mistakes, and this restaurant definitely did. Uh, just wanted to point that out. Like, you know, because that just, for me, I feel like that's just common courtesy. Uh, especially, like, I asked you for this, but then you got kind of got it wrong. Which is, I mean, that's fine, I get it. I used to work in the restaurant myself, dishwasher and the fry cook, so, especially, like, if it's, like, slammed on certain days, I definitely understand, but to get the bill, the, to get the food taken off the bill, and a complimentary uh, free uh, sweet treat. Oh yeah, oh yeah, very nice. Y'all, I am so stuck. My burrito was really good. I loved it. The issue that we were having was avocado because you know I hate avocado. Like per the audacity. Whatever. But I mean, like, if you watched our last video, you saw I gave it a little shot. It was not for me. But I love this burrito, and I would definitely get it again. Welcome to Millennium Park. We have an ice skating rink here. I didn't think that it would still be cold enough to get into the rink, but I hope they're having fun because it can't be me. So I guess we're just gonna overlook the fact that this girl just said that you're not gonna ice skate. I said what I said. I done rolled my ankle too many times to count to sit here and think, oh, I'm gonna go ice skating now. But if you fall, I'll catch you. Oh, babe, that's so nice. But I'd rather not risk it and be in a boot and be Bootsy <laughs> McGee at Both Universal. of us will be Bootsy McGee because I can't ice skate either. <laughs> 
Nope. So here we are at the Crown Jewel of Chicago, The Bean. As many of you all know, it's a hot, iconic spot. You can see everybody that came to come visit. But little did you know that there's a bean in New York too. What? Where did you do that at? <laughs> Taking advantage of this nice, warm day and getting a car wash. Come roll with us. Can't beat the price of $4. Not at all. Yeah, you gotta get in there. You gotta get in there. Get the seat. adventures now don't miss out on downtown chicago at night it's definitely a place to see for any tourist definitely got to finish out the night with going seeing demon slayer for anybody who does not know i love anime demon slayer is definitely in my top five Somebody definitely got a ticket. Somebody got flushed. They, yeah, they looked like a Christmas tree. Yes, yeah. they did, indeed. So, yeah, Demon Slayer. Gotta go see my man's Tanjiro and all of the Nezuko. Shout out to Rengoku. He's not in this one. What? Yeah, he's not in this one. No! Uh, he makes the whole situation. Well, he doesn't make the whole situation, but he adds to it. She gets sidetracked by the dog. But. Hey guys, so somebody forgot to film the outro last night. So here we are. <laughs> so as you saw, we finished up the night watching Demon Slayer. It was amazing. I can't wait for the rest of the season to come out next month. On my birthday, actually. Ooh. If you're new to anime or looking for something to watch, definitely check out Demon Slayer. As far as Rick Obinis, I know y'all saw I ain't like my food, but Rick Obinis is still decent. Y'all should still check it out. It's the old town gym in Chicago. So look forward to see you all in our next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you then.